a quick look at Star Crossed by Cassie Musgraves. The song is really having this nice instrumental which is going throughout the whole song and I'm just gonna try to make it easy and break that down for you guys. But before that, I just wanna show you the main chord sheets which you need for the song. The first chord is a D minor which is mute mute open second third first. C major mute three to open first open. Uh, then we have uh, A minor which is mute open second second first open. A major which is mute open second 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 open. And then we have a B flat major chord here, the bar chord is there. So I'm playing mute one three three one one. I'm sorry, mute one three 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 one. And you can find out easy ways to play this chord like this. And then we have a B flat major seven, which is mute one three two three one. I know this is gonna be a little bit hard. This chords are tricky. But just practice. Make sure you master the chord sheets. The chords are very really important for the song. Then we have the G minor, bar the whole third fret, and then five five on E and D. Now let's move on. I just want to show you the intro that R part, and after that we have this small classical guitar thing going on indeed the whole song is actually played on a classical guitar so what we do is B flat major chord C major C major D minor so you're gonna be strumming as you wish it depends upon how you actually sing but the chord progression B flat then a C again a C D minor first line Second line we have G minor, then C, A minor, then a D minor. And after that the instrumental kicks in. So we got B flat. depends how you sing the song and now the, have a look at this quick melody I'm doing a slide from 3 to all the way uh, it's 11 fret on the B string and it's very slow so let that ring for a second and then you move on and do a little bit vibrato then 11 then 10 then 8 that's on the B string and now on the G string we have 10 9 and then we quickly play with our ring and pinky. We play D11 and B11. Then we play D11 and have a look. 10 fret on the B with the middle finger. And then we just bring the shape over here. Ring finger on 10 on D, index on B8. We play DB. So we got. And then we play the same shape, we bring it 8th fret on D and 6th on B and then I'm playing 5 on D and I'm sorry, 7 on D and 5 on G so we got oops and then you end that playing 3rd fret on the D and 3rd fret on the B the shape which you had over here, you're gonna play that now over here so we got 11 11, 11 10, 10 8, 8 6, 7 5, 3 3. And then you play 5 on the top E, 4 on the E string, and then you just do this and on and on, which is a hammer on from 6 to 6 to 7, back to 6 on the G string. Major minor, major minor. So from the beginning. Now you move on to the verse and over here the chord progression is a D minor, then a G minor, then a B flat major or you can even just change from a major to a B flat major 7 and then a A major and it's more of like some uh, flamingo type stuff I really don't know much about but Uh, we just pick the strings randomly very fast it gets faster with them G minor B flat 
song mein hai you can simply just do dance stroke and just raise the voice on each ka like dan 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 like that dan 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 like that so you can do that now that's the verse that's a chord progression after that we have the chorus the chord progression will be a g minor and i think there is some picking going in the song which is i'm plucking uh using my thumb to hit the top e string or the e string index for the g string middle finger for the b string i'm sorry i'm very sorry a thumb for the e and a index for the d string middle for the g ring finger for the b that's it so you play e d b g so you plug the b and g string together so on the g minor chord e d b g e d b g go a couple of times and then you move on to the d minor chord you play d g b e together d g b e d g b e d g b e and then you play c major chord you play a g b e a g b e i don't move very fast so we got e d g b e d g b e play the chord of times and then d minor b d g b e d g b e a g b e b g b e and after the end of the chorus we actually play the b flat major chord B flat major seven and A major like that, and then we move on to the last part. Again, there's some uh, star crossed, and then R part goes on, and then we're just gonna simply strum the chord shapes, followed by D minor, B flat, F, D minor, D minor, C, B flat, and then we have uh, A, A minor, D minor, G minor, A minor, and then we have. uh d minor so you can just make up on the strong part of the song i think i messed up for the first line c d flat a e minor d minor minor image the minor guys that's the whole song i hope this helps you out make sure you subscribe and that's it bye